something's just not reconciling with me. On September the 15th, you gave him a check for $2,000. With no name on it. Just a second. Correct. That was check number 269. Correct. One week later, you gave him a check according to the, your checks. 118. Correct. I have multiple checkbooks that I write up. One is my ranch and one is my house in Mill Valley where I stay at. And that's where I had been. So I left the check for him there at the ranch to pick up. If you take time and you read our taxes with each other, well, first, he states first, in there let, that first, he was going to deliver up. gravel and never first, showed up. And the money first, was for gravel. Let, first, would you let me see the bank statement? Sure. Yes, ma'am. Here's first the bank statement and uh, other stuff the bank asked to give to you. And if you continued it, they would give you a letter just, showing just the checks speak. were never scanned. Don't, I don't want or to attempted see to be cashed. Just... Here's proof he also received money towards the gravel, which he never showed up at the road base. I don't know who he's talking to. So on September the 15th, which is the first day you wrote the check, you had an ending daily balance of $510.52. With 9000 overdraft. That's what it says. On the day you wrote him the check... For $2,000, you had a balance in your account of $510.52. I've circled it. It says Correct. ending balance. Correct. On the 23rd, when you wrote him allegedly a replacement check. Which is true. You had an ending balance of $359.18. That's your balance. That's what your bank says. Okay. And the overdraft balance? I, listen, we discussed... Hours ago, when I sent you to your bank, I said, did you have the money in your account? And you muttered under your breath with overdraft. And I said, don't tell me overdraft. And my hearing isn't so good. I said, did you have without the overdraft over $5,000 in your account? And you said yes. In the month of that September, just is, it's true. No, that's not a... You know what I'm talking about. Well, Your hey, Honor, if you I know would have, I wouldn't have answered that way and brought you documents of that, nor would I bring you documents showing that the money was for gravel and that he received $1,035 and agreed to deliver the gravel. I did not. Now, my question to you, Mr. Jones, is as follows. Very careful with your answer. I want to know how I have two checks here, one for two and one for three. When I first, uh, his friend or where I buy my hay said that, He'd signed that he was out of jail and they'd see him, so blah, blah. So I went over to his house and I asked him to pay me the five grand that he owed me that I'd loaned him. And he went into his house, he came out with one check and he told me that that's all he had. But if I come back within a week or less, he would have the rest of the money. So I waited and then I went back and he gave me that check. So then I took the checks and I walked them to the bank. The bank said they could not cash them and didn't tell me why. Does your brother know anything about this transaction he, from well, his personal he, information or just what you told him? No, he, well, the only reason he's here is because we wanted to know where I got the money. And he had, I, he had, had money in no, the No, I, listen, okay. anybody who tells me that they're paying people under the table to do work because they don't have a green card is not going to lie to me about why they have the cash. You no. could have made up a lot of different <laughs> stories about why <laughs> you're paying cash. <laughs> But that would actually not have been one of them. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're done. Thank you.